So 2021 has been a pretty interesting year. I've had a lot, a lot of fun out there photographing things for you guys. It's been, it's been really interesting. Um, and I've pulled together a bunch of different images that I'm going to show you right now or in a couple of minutes here. And I think you're going to find them interesting. I had a lot of fun with them. I'll tell you that. I had a lot of fun finding it. Uh, I'm also going to try out some new stuff using uh, this on top of this GoPro on top of my camera to uh, give you more of a point of view thing. Because I like shooting handheld a lot. Um, I haven't been able to do a lot of landscape work, so I've been doing a lot of documentary style stuff. So I'm going to use the GoPro on the top to give you a point of view. Got some shots around here, but this video is all about the images, the best images of 2021 shot with my Fuji. I know you're going to like them, so let's get to them right now. So this is our Golden Retriever puppy, Laika. We got her last January, and she's a wonderful little dog. And this was a high ISO shot taken with a 16 to 80. This shot is also of Leica, but it's taken with the brand new at the time, 70 to 300 close up. Now before the 70 to 300 showed up, I was using my 55 to 200, and I really love this picture taken with the 55 to 200. This next shot here, is taking on a really, really crazy day out on Sandy Bay with the 100 to 400 of the Straight Smith Island Lighthouse. And then we travel up to upstate New York, where I got this picture here with my uh, 10 to 24, I believe, at sunrise. And I really enjoy this shot a lot. Past spring, when the daffodils came out, I was over to a friend's house and he had this beautiful, beautiful field of daffodils and a model of his boat on his shed. Then uh, I did some scouting for my lighthouse tour with Bill Fortney. We went up to Bailey Island where I photographed this iconic lobster shack. It's a cool spot. Over in South Portland doing some more scouting, shot this shot here a bug light with these incredible clouds that we had all day which is pretty cool then it was over to Pemaquid light to do some more scouting and we had some beautiful sky and early morning light and I decided to convert this to black and white also scouting for a main lighthouse tour over in Friendship Maine this window always seems to have some interesting lobster buoys in it While I was out with Bill Fortney, as he came up for our main lighthouse tour, I made it over to Essex and got some really interesting shots of the main and the Beale lying on their side in the mud. We also got this shot of this giant propeller and rudder and everything on a schooner that is there as a demonstration. Then Bill and I and another student went over to the Cape Natick Lobster Pound for this really iconic lobster shack and then we were, while we were on our main lighthouse tour got this shot of these buoys uh, over in um, I believe it was Bailey Island and then continuing on our little tour of main lighthouses we made it to Pemaquid Point and this is behind the Hotel Pemaquid it's a really cool shack Next place we stopped was Port Clyde. Really interesting place and some very, very cool pictures. Uh, you can see the opportunities here are immense. And the next shot here, I shot a picture of this before and I really didn't like how it came out, but I really love the way this came out. So our main lighthouse tour, we actually ran into a a uh, really interesting display of old vehicles, trucks and cars. Got some great images. And then I was trying some interesting macro photography with the 7300, or I should say close-up photography. Really worked out well for this image of this flower. 
And then this is a uh, shot with a 7300 as well outside the Shailen Lu Performance Center in Rockport. And uh, the light was just so beautiful I had to make a shot of it. Now this next shot here is a, a mushroom that grows outside my house every June. And this is uh, the latest iteration of this particular mushroom. And then we were up in uh, Oregon and I got this shot of uh, clouds coming through the valley Mount Hood Valley and then I was up near the base of Mount Hood and got these snow covered pine trees which is really really cool. Now this shot here was done in the fall and it was done with a Leica lens on the X-Pro3 and I love the way the shadow from the shed matches the shadow of the other side of the story. Pretty cool. And then the last shot here is done with the X-Pro3 with the 23 1.4 of our local Coast Guard guy giving the fist pump with the uh, lights being lit. That's my best images from 2021. I hope you liked them. If you wouldn't mind, please give me a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. And thanks so much for watching. And that's it for this year. We'll catch you next year.